Hi viewers, welcome to our channel Mass Insights. In this video, I am going to solve some problems based on specific angles of trigonometric ratios and based on definitions of trigonometric ratios. To remember how to define a trigonometric ratio and how to uh, remember some values of trigonometric ratios, uh, those are very important. To remember those values and definitions, I am solving some problems in this video which are very helpful to you. Shall we solve the problems? This is the first problem. In this first problem, it is given that in triangle ABC, angle B is equals to 90 degrees and they have given the length of AB as 5 centimeters and saying that angle ACB is equals to 30 degrees. Then they are asking to determine the lengths of other sides BC and AC. If you draw the triangle as per the given data, you may have the diagram like this. See this is triangle, right angle triangle, they are saying angle B is equals to 90 degrees. Therefore, I am taking angle B here, then you may take A here. C then this will become triangle ABC and they have given length of the side AB as 5 centimeters therefore I will write 5 centimeters here and ACB ACB the angle will be at the center letter that is C therefore this is 30 degrees 30 degrees then determine the length of other two sides BC and AC. It is very easy by using trigonometric ratios. See, this is the angle 30 and you want this side BC. This side BC is adjacent to, to this angle 30. Therefore, you have to uh, remember the trigonometric ratio which is having the adjacent side in its definition. That is very clear. That is cos theta. If you apply cos theta, then you will have the definition that side adjacent to theta by hypotenuse. But even you don't have this hypotenuse also. So by using the known side, you have to find unknown side. You have to relate this side and this side. This side is opposite side to theta 30 degrees and this is the side adjacent to 30. So you have to remember which is the trigonometric ratio having side opposite and side adjacent to its definition. It's very clear tan theta. So by using tan theta we will find the length of this side then by using the Pythagoras theorem we will find this hypotenuse okay in triangle solution. In triangle ABC, angle B is equals to 90 degrees and also angle ACB is equals to 30 degrees. Now I am taking tan 30, tan 30, tan 30 is defined as side opposite to 30. That means side opposite to 30 will become AB and side adjacent to 30 degrees is BC. Therefore, I am writing BC. You know AB value as 5 and we have to find length of BC. Here, you know 10, 30 degrees value. If you remember, if you go through the table, then it is clear that 10, 30 is 1 by root 3. Therefore, I am writing 10, 30 value as 1 by root 3 and you got 5 by BC. Therefore, on class multiplication, I will get the value of BC as 5 into root 3. Since these are centimeters, therefore, this will also become centimeters. Therefore, you got the value or the length of side BC as 5 into root 3 centimeters. Now, if you want to find this length, it's very easy, not required to have any trigonometric ratio. Otherwise, you may have cos theta also. If you apply cos theta, that implies to now cos 30. Why you are taking cos 30? Why? Because if you want this hypotenuse, 
you may have cos or sin in both the trigonometric ratios sin and cos you will have this hypotenuse but i am using cos 30 cos 30 is defined as side adjacent to 30 side adjacent to 30 is bc by hypotenuse is the side opposite to 90 degrees this is the hypotenuse therefore cos 30 if we remember cos 30 cos 30 value is root 3 by 2 cos 30 or sin 60 both are same if you observe from the table okay so i am writing uh, root 3 by 2 is equals to bc value is already calculated as 5 into root 3 by ac we don't know so on cross multiplication i will get ac into root 3 is equals to 2 into 5 into root 3 on both sides i will cancel uh, root 3 therefore i will get ac value as 10 2 5 is a 10 centimeters so this will also become 10 centimeters by using any trigonometric ratio you like but you have to remember the trigonometric ratios in which you want the side then it will become very easy now we will solve second problem now i have taken three problems at a time uh, why because these are very easy problems okay if you uh, see the second one they are asking sin 45 degrees plus cos 45 degrees if you observe the table which we discussed in the previous video cos 45 value and sin 45 value both are same if you uh, read the value 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 1 i am reading these values for 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees if you observe sin 45 cos 45 are same and those values are see sin 45 is 1 by root 2 plus this will become also 1 by root 2 if you take the lcm as root 2 then you will have 1 plus 1 that is equals to 2 by root 2 you may further simplify this 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 that is equals to root 2 into root 2 by root 2 if you cancel one root 2 then you will get the answer root 2 for sin 45 degrees plus cos 45 degrees it's very simple now going to the second one see third one 2 into tan 45 degrees plus cos square 30 degrees minus sin square 60 degrees if you remember if you have the values of those specific angles in your mind this problem is very simple so you have to substitute those values see i am substituting 2 into see this is tan 45 tan 45 if you observe from the table tan 45 is 1 tan 45 is 1 therefore 2 into 1 plus and square is there square cos square 30 cos 30 you have to know and uh, you have to do square of that value cos 30 cos 30 and sin 60 are both same if you observe that will become root 3 by 2 therefore cos 30 is root 3 by 2 but you have square for it that's why i am writing square minus sin square 60 i said cos 30 and uh, sin 60 both are same so again it will become root 3 by 2 whole square that is equals to 2 into 1 2 plus if you apply this square to both numerator and denominator this will become 3 only why because square root and square cancels 3 by if you apply this square 2 square is 4 minus if you do the same thing here 3 by 4 see plus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 you may cancel uh, both of them and you will have 2 as your answer for this trigonometric expression coming to third problem it is somewhat uh, important but easy also see they have given sin a minus b is equals to 1 by 2 cos a plus b is equals to 1 by 2 and they are saying that a plus b value is between 0 and 90 only including 90 here if you observe 
there is only less than not less than or equals to if there is less than or equals to also you have to take this 0 and 90 and the angles between them but only starting from greater than 0 and uh, the value of angle a is greater than b and they are asking to find a and b now i will take now a sine a minus b is equals to they have given 1 by 2 you have to write this 1 by 2 is equals to which angle of sine if you observe from the table 1 by 2 is equals to sine 30 degrees this is very important to remember the table if you remember the values of those trigonometric angles then it is very easy then that is sine 30 degrees therefore sin a minus b is equals to sin 30 if i remove sin on both sides then you will get a minus b is equals to 30 degrees therefore a minus b is equals to 30 degrees let it be 1 in the similar manner i will take cos a plus b is equals to 1 by 2 and cos a plus b is equals to 1 by 2 similarly you have to find for which value of angle for cos it will become 1 by 2 if you observe from the table it is for cos 60 cos 60 is equals to 1 by 2 therefore i am writing cos 60 degrees therefore cos a plus b is equals to cos 60 i am removing cos on both sides if you do any operation on both sides that will become equal so i am removing cos therefore a plus b is equals to 60 degrees this is number 2 from 1 and 2 i will add adding equation 1 and 2 equation 1 and 2 therefore a minus b i am adding lhs that means left hand side a minus b plus a plus b is equals to 30 degrees plus 60 degrees which is equals to 90 degrees and if you see minus b plus b cancel a plus a will become 2a 2a is equals to 90 degrees therefore that implies to a is equals to 90 by 2 which will become 45 degrees therefore a is equals to 45 degrees what they are saying a plus b is equals to 60 degrees you got a value they are saying that a is greater than b if you substitute this value in either of these two equations you will get sine uh, b value as 15 degrees therefore i am substituting in equation 1 in equation 1 you have a plus b is equal to 60 degrees but a is 45 therefore 45 degrees plus b is equals to 60 degrees okay therefore b is equals to 60 minus 45 why because this plus 45 when goes to other side it will become minus 45 that is 15 degrees therefore you may write a is equals to 45 degrees and b is equals to 15 degrees this is the answer okay you will solve next problem this is the fourth problem what they are asking evaluate sin 60 into cos 30 plus sin 30 cos 60 what is the value of and also they are asking sin 60 plus 30 what can you conclude from this problem you have an important conclusion after completion of that we will conclude that point okay first i will take solution i will take sin 60 into okay cos 30 plus sin 30 degrees into cos 60 see this is very easy if you remember those trigonometric ratios for specific angles now i want sin 60 sin 60 is nothing but root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 i am substituting root 3 by 2 into cos 30 is also root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 plus if you see sin 30 value that is 1 by 2 from the table so 1 by 2 and also cos 60 is also 1 by 2 
okay these are the values of this sin 60 uh, cos 60 sin 30 cos 30 if you uh, multiply these two root 3 into root 3 root 3 whole square okay by 2 into 2 4 plus similarly 1 into 1 is 1 2 to the 4 again that is equals to root 3 whole square is 3 if you cancel this square root and square therefore the answer is 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 if you take lcm as 4 then it will become 3 plus 1 which is equals to 4 if you cancel you will get value 1 therefore this value is equals to 1 now i am going to find this sine 60 plus 30 see now sine 60 plus 30 degrees you know sine 60 plus 30 degrees is sine 90 if you add these two angles sine 90 so you know that sine 90 is 1 from the table what we observe sine 60 into cos 30 plus sine 30 into cos 60 is equals to 1 and this is uh, this is also equals to 1 that means these two are same therefore i conclude that sine 60 plus 30 is equals to sine 60 okay into cos 30 plus sine 30 into cos 60 so from this you have to observe something suppose if you assume this as sine a suppose i am putting some name i am giving some name for this angle as a then b then that is equals to wherever 60 is there you have to put a that means sin a and 30 30 means i am naming it as b therefore cos b plus sin here 30 for that i am naming it as b therefore sin b and cos a so this is very important formula in trigonometry sin a plus b is equals to sin a into cos b plus sin b into cos a you have to remember you will learn this formula later videos okay we will go to the next problem this is another important and easy problem in this problem they have given that triangle pqr in triangle pqr angle q is equals to 90 so i am drawing the right angle triangle uh, by taking angle 90 at q so you may take it as p and pq r and they have given pq length as 3 centimeters see this is 3 centimeters and pr where is pr this is pr pr value as 6 centimeters then they are asking angle q p r q p r that means they are asking this and p or q p or q see i am representing these two angles with the different signs why because they may be different but they may be equal also so we don't know that see in this triangle this is 90 degrees and they have given lengths of two sides and they are asking two angles this angle you know this is a specific problem very important also if you want to find this angle you have to use any one of the trigonometric ratios which involves the values of known sides here you know two sides this side and this side this side will become adjacent side to this angle and this will become hypotenuse so you have to search you have to remember the trigonometric ratio which is involving side adjacent to theta and hypotenuse it's very clear that is cos theta so if you apply cos theta you will get this angle then if you want to this angle you have to you you have to <coughs> know this side also if you know this side then you may use any uh, you may use the ratio
if you want to find this angle if you want to find this angle you may use this side also this side will become adjacent side to this theta so we have to find the value of this side then only you have to search for the trigonometric ratio which is involving this side which is adjacent side so if you find this value then you may apply cos theta why because this side will become adjacent side to this theta and you know this hypotenuse so very easy first you will you may find this angle first so solution in uh, triangle pqr okay angle q is equals to 90 degrees therefore cos let it be theta okay then it will become 90 minus theta why because sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees already this is 90 degrees then this sum should always become 90 de degrees therefore i am assuming this as theta automatically 90 minus theta so in this way also you may find one th one angle then you may subtract it from this 90 degrees then you will get second angle also so cos 30 is cos theta i am taking i don't know the value of this one that's why i named it as theta therefore cos theta is equals to side adjacent to theta that is pq pq by hypotenuse that is pr pq value is 3 pr value is 6 therefore if you cancel 3 ones are 3 twos are that is equals to 1 by 2 therefore you got cos theta as 1 by 2 now we have to remember for what angle of cos theta you will get 1 by 2 it is observed that cos 60 therefore cos theta is equals to cos 60 it is very clear that theta is equals to 60 degrees if you remove cos on both sides you may find the next angle that is second angle that is second angle that is angle p or q p or q is equals to 90 minus theta already you calculated theta value as 60 therefore 90 minus 60 that is equals to 30 degrees in this way you may calculate this cos theta will become this is angle angle q p or what they are asking q p or is named as theta and we calculated as 60 that is equals to angle q p or and p or q as 30 so these are the some problems which will give uh, which are very helpful in remembering the definition of trigonometric ratios and value some values of some specific trigonometric angles if you like my video kindly subscribe to the channel and encourage me to do more videos we will meet in the next video until then have a nice day thank you